Data types out like DOS commands. Space Hospital, Series 2, Log 1.0. A large title swoops across the cosmos. The Great Ape Race. The skyscraper-shaped Space Hospital appears on a screen. So, Space Hospital is in Blue Zone. They better stay out of our way if they know what's good for them. Two simian doctors wearing staff IDs for Ape Hospital watch the screen. Their cylindrical ship soars along, its dome illuminated, and its bayonet-like antenna cutting through nebulous clouds. Titles appear in 8-bit graphics. Ape Hospital, with Dr. Patsy, and starring Professor Wizard. Nurse Ratney watches the opening credit sequence on her screen. What is this crap? She switches channels. Sexual harassment. A black and white program's opening credits read, Mr. Button's MD, Canine Coroner, on another channel. The title appears in a boxy graphic within a three-dimensional computer-generated grid. As Space Hospital soars through the cosmos, data appears. Portside forward west wing, third shift. And so, the centrality has decided that we have until the end of this fiscal year, approximately seven weeks, to turn a profit, or Space Hospital will be turned into a bakery, and its crew will be terminated. Temporary Commander Plot. Yes, Nurse Ratney. When you say terminated, do you mean fired or killed? It doesn't specify. And since we have absolutely no hope of ever achieving that goal, we are returning immediately to Re-Earth to have the ovens installed. Uh, Yeoman Long? The telescreen shows a junky planet. Re-Earth. 25% less human than the original and made of all new materials. Re-Earth. The choice of the next generation. We are required by the centrality to say that. <clears throat> Dismissed! Commander Plod, there's a distress call from the satellite colony on Arbus 9. Ignore. Aren't we going to help them? Nurse Ratney, we are already on a computer-navigated course to re-Earth. Isn't that right, computer? Final destination determined. It's out of my hands. Sir, what about our hospital mandate? Remember our motto, sir? Happy helping hands, uh, sir. Well, your mandate has failed, Sneed. Space Hospital is broke. So now you're the coffee drone. Your new mandate is to pour the coffee and keep your happy helping hands to yourself. Yeah, get back to work, hippie. Better listen to the coffee bot, Sneed. He outranks you now. She pours herself some coffee. We have to help them, Ratney. Help! <laughs> That's so unlike you. This is our chance. You and me, Ratney, we do something daring. We override the main computer, yes. We risk everything. Save the day, and then I get my, I mean, we. <laughs> we get our old jobs back. Actually, I was promoted. Oh. But it would be nice to get some new patients in the hospital again. You're going to get in trouble. Shut up. You're a transistor radio. You're not human. Can't you just unplug him? No, I've tried. Later, our view descends through the bowels of the ship to a darkened room with a tile wall. Ratney carries a two-way radio as she creeps inside. Copy, Steve. Spit breaker board is at the back of the men's room. Don't worry, I've been in here before. Nice. A girl's got to have hobbies. Why are we in here? The central computer has surveillance eyes everywhere. They're standing in a cramped janitorial closet. Except in here. I've got a robot standing guard. Move along, move along! Just a closet, nothing to see here! A robot keeps watch outside the closed door. Move along! Nothing to see here! Just an empty closet! Back with Sneed and Larry. Not a secret meeting or anything! Move along, move along. What's wrong with being a bakery? Nothing to see here. I, I spoke to Prince Plod. Centrality might make me head muffin chef. Very cool. I found the breaker switch. Be prepared to punch in the new coordinates as soon as I shut the computer down. Oh, Larry, come on! We need you. You're the IT guy. I'm not the IT guy. I'm a lab technician who dreams of one day being a baker. Sneed coolly holds out a cable to him. <sighs> a space bus. Oh, 
Alright. Ratney throws a switch. A red light flashes near a sign. Danger. Switch must remain engaged for computer operation. We're gonna get the firing squad for this. As the ship's computer shuts down, Space Hospital drifts off course. It's working better. It's working. The lights go out on Sneed's gleeful expression. The picture fades back in on the ship drifting lifelessly in the darkness of space. Its power blinks back on, and it changes course. Back in the dim janitorial closet, Sneed smirks at a control device that his companion has wired up. Very Space Hospital's booster rockets fire. Now, Lindsay and Prince Plod rush into the main desk area. Space Hospital whizzes past twinkling stars. Incoming telescreen message from a hospital. Wizard and Patsy appear on screen. Professor Wizard, my old nemesis. Prince Plod, don't tell me you're slumming it at Space Hospital. And it looks like you're en route to rescue the orbiting colony at Arbus 9. Yes, well, is that right? Lindsay nods. That's right! We are a hospital after all! Keep your puny pink appendages off that colony, Plod. We'll rescue it. <laughs> Give it up, you circus chimp. We'll get those patients. Not if we get their first hairless female. All your patients are belong to us. Ape Hospital flies up beside Space Hospital. The race is on. The ship sideswipes Space Hospital and takes the lead. Damn, 38? Oh, run out engines! Full speed ahead! Won't give them a race! Uh, uh, number one! Yes, sir. No, I, I have to go number one. Ratney, you're in charge. Don't do anything till I get back. Now, Data types out near a gaseous nebula, Arbus 9, Orbital Research Colony. A shuttle escapes from a burning space station just before it explodes. Incoming telescreen message. She patches it through. This is Dr. Thelonious Drake. This is my assistant, Nurse Barbara Arbra. We are the sole survivors of the Arbus 9 orbiting space colony. Please, we need oxygen. Nurse Barbara, that's all I need. Can you hold a moment, please? Thank you. She unplugs the screen. There's a small craft drifting towards us. It must be them. What should I do? Ratney paces indecisively. Lindsay looks up at her with her one good eye. Nurse Ratney! Get me a hospital. Lindsay pulls up the feed on telescreen. You win. They're all yours. I don't think so, hairless female. We didn't become the number one hospital in Blue Zone by babysitting penniless refugees. I suggest you turn back, too. The escape shuttle drifts into colorful gas clouds. The dark nebula surrounding Arbus 9 is a dangerous place. Too bad no one else survived. Until we meet again. Ape Hospital zooms off. Ta-da! Ratney sneers to herself as the telescreen goes to static. The eye patch wearing yeoman steps up behind her. Dr. Drake and Nurse Barbara are drifting without air. On call waiting. Are you there? Help! Should I try to pull them on board? Maybe. Nurse Ratney. Larry enters. Who wants muffins? He uncovers a tray of muffins in bright neon colors. Ratney looks away pensively. Credits. Written and directed by Robert Poe. Produced by Susan Stobner. Starring Mary Buckley as Lindsay Long. Ann Ford Galliana as Nurse Barbara. Andy Hungerford as Dr. Drake. Rich Hutchman as Sneed. Robert Poe as Prince Plod. Adriana Rose as Nurse Ratney. Brett A. Snodgrass as Dr. Larry. Tim Solens as Dr. Good. Lovable robot as himself. Created by Sigurd Uland and Robert Poe. Fill in your space with love. End transmission.